We are constantly exposed to a variety of sources of both natural and artificial radioactivity. Nearly 14% of our total average radiation dose is from medical procedures such as dental and chest x-rays, CT scans and nuclear medicine. For the individual, this dose varies depending on whether you receive a procedure or not. Less than 1% of our dose is from the fallout from nuclear weapons testing, Chernobyl and discharges from nuclear facilities such as Sellafield. We are exposed to this radioactivity from the ground and it's in the food and water we eat and drink. Naturally occurring radioactivity is present in rocks and soils and has existed since the creation of the Earth. We are exposed to this radioactivity from the ground, which contributes about 7% to our dose. It's in the food and water we eat and drink, which contributes an additional 6.5% to our dose. Cosmic radiation comes from the sun and outer space. Most is absorbed in the Earth's atmosphere, but some reaches the ground. Nearly 9% of our dose is from this source, and frequent flyers receive a higher dose. Just over 8.5% of our dose is from thoron, a naturally occurring radioactive gas which emanates from building materials. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas which emanates from rocks and soils. It can build up to unacceptably high levels when it enters a house or other building. We are exposed to radon at home and at work, but mostly at home as we spend more time there. Radon is the principal source of our radiation exposure, accounting for just over 55% of our dose. For the individual, however, exposure to radon is highly variable, with some people exposed to a fraction of the average radiation dose and others exposed to hundreds of times the average. Calculate your own dose on our website.